Cube Biotech. Proteins are our passion. Hello everyone and welcome to the Cube Biotech channel. Today we like to show you how to purify proteins with magnetic beads. As you will see, this is surprisingly easy and leads to high protein yields. We choose to demonstrate our mag beads through a purification of a Histec GFP for better visualization. But first, let's have a proper look at our magnetic beads themselves. For this demonstration, we are using our Nickel NTA mag beads, the most commonly used ones. It all begins with an agarose core that we enriched with magnetite to give them their magnetic properties. What follows is the attachment of a ligand to the core. The trilutriacetic acid, short NTA, or aminodiacetic acid, short IDA, are the most commonly used ones for this purpose. If you want to know what the difference between the two is, click on the link in the description. We, however, have a third option here. Our own developed indigo ligand. It has highly increased DTT and EDTA stability compared to the two previous ones and other established magnetic bead ligands. Check it out! The next component is the coupled metal ion. It decides on the purity and the amount of purified protein. This figure gives an overview on the features on the most commonly used metal ions. The metal ion forms a chelator complex with a polyhistec as depicted by this picture. This affinity bond is then used to bind the proteins to the magnetic beads while they are removing the rest of the cell lysate. In this video we chose to go with nickel NTA here as for most purposes it has the best balance between specificity and affinity. We are starting with this protein lysate in which you can clearly see the massive amounts of GFP. We add our pure cube nickel NTA mag beads into an empty Eppendorf tube. The first step is to remove the storage buffer in which the mag beads are kept. Then we add incubation buffer to prepare the beads for the upcoming contact with the protein. Make sure to mix well. Subsequently we remove the incubation buffer while the mag beads are bound to a magnetic separator. We here at Cubiotech have our own mag bead separator for this. Now it's time to add the Histec GFP to the mag beads. Put the tube on a rotator and let the mag beads and GFP rotate for about one hour. Our GFP proteins have now been bound onto the mag beads. It is time to separate the mag beads and through that the GFP from the rest of the lysate. As you already see, the lysate has lost most of its green color. This already shows you by naked eye that the purification was successful. Now we just use a normal pipette and remove the supernatant. Afterwards we wash the mag beads two times with washing buffer. Removal of set washing buffer is done the same way as the removal of the incubation buffer before. Just add the appropriate amount of illusion buffer and mix well. As you can see, the liquid starts to turn greenish again. A clear indicator that the purification was successful. Now we just have to remove the eluted protein and we can store it away for future experiments. At this point we are at the end of our MacBeat tutorial. We hope you took something with you from this. Every link that we mentioned can be found in the description. And we will see you next time. Bye!